Bro, you ain't need to... Come on, act. See, that's what I be talking about, bro. Like, you need to be doing this shit, nigga. Hey, bro, like... Come on, act. Come on, act. Come on, act. Don't do that, nigga. Big P said, Tony, post your, uh, your arrest history. It's all, it's posted all over the internet. Google Tony Robinson, Anthony Robinson. You can see my arrest history. You can see where I have all my charges dismissed when I had a lion psycho bitch. Yep. You can see those dismissed and you can see my assault with a daily weapon, firearm charges, five of those. Yeah, don't get me twisted. Five assault with a daily weapon. See, when y'all look at my charges, don't go to my, look at the women. You better go look at all my charges. See, cause I'm not one of them niggas. I got equal energy. I'm an equal opportunity to fuck your ass up. You play with me, you put your hands on me, I don't give a fuck who you are. Yeah, see, one thing about me, and I have always been a real nigga about mine, see, you niggas must be new to me. I ain't never duck nothing I've been through because I ain't no bitch-ass nigga. I ain't no bitch-ass nigga. Anything I ever been through, I stand on it. But I goddamn tell you, see, y'all niggas be like, Tony, look at, Tony got one, you better go look at all the charges. You, you better go look at all them charges because I really step on your motherfucking ass. I really step on your ass. I really step on your bitch ass. See, don't get the, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. See, y'all y'all be on this bitch talking all this slick, sly shit, nigga. You would never say that shit to my face. Never say that shit to my face. I'm a real nigga. Real nigga. Real nigga. Nigga, ain't, and, and I got a real woman. I got fucking. Bro, you can go check all the women I ever fuck with and see what they say about me. See what they say about me. Any woman that ever fuck with me, see what they say about me. Any woman, I can call any bitch that ever fuck with me and they still want to fuck with me. Always gonna say I'm a good nigga. I guarantee you that shit. Any of my kids, mothers, any woman that fuck with me any time in life will fuck with me to this day. I bet you that nigga can't say the same thing. I don't give a fuck about academics, community, or none of that shit, nigga. I'm a stepper, nigga. I stand on my own, own shit, nigga. See, none of these niggas, see, none of these niggas can say I actually help the black community. None of these niggas can actually say nothing positive that they do for the culture. They can't show you no real success outside of what they got for their own personal self. I can show you niggas I made millionaires. I'm a millionaire maker, nigga. Say that shit, nigga. Nigga, I'm a millionaire maker. I'm a millionaire maker, my nigga. I have made millionaires off my trainings. DJ Envy can't say nothing, but they stole millions. They stole millions. I made millions for niggas. All over the fucking world. Factual. Check my resume. Check my receipts, nigga. All day long. I got motherfuckers all over the country that ate off me. Niggas talking about some. You paid to be on million dollars worth of game. Nigga, McDonald's paid to get ass every motherfucking day. Let me explain something to you, stupid, no business having motherfuckers. Let me explain something to you niggas that don't know how to make your shit pop. Yeah, nigga. Let me show you how you make your shit pop. If you go look at TV every single day, you see Sprint, Verizon, Apple, McDonald's, they all do what? They promote their business. I get on a platform and I promote my business. I'm a smart businessman. You stupid ass niggas. Stupid ass niggas. Think about it. You can't say nothing that these niggas have ever done for the culture, the community, other than cause destruction. Got on million dollars worth of game. Got on million dollars worth of game. Did 40 episodes, nigga, made eight million dollars. I say it was worth the payout. Is that good advertising and marketing? Hmm? Would you spend 400K to make eight million? Let me. Hey, Hey, chat, real quick, chat. I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like, uh, I'm gonna do like, eh. hey, 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 chat, real quick, chat. Let me know in the chat. Hey, chat, I spent $400,000 on, on being on million dollars worth of game. I made 8 million. Let me know in the comments, chat, if you think that was a good investment. I would like to know, would you spend 400000 to make 8 million? Let me know, chat. Hey, chat. Would you, hey, bros. Hey, bros. Bruh, bruh. Hey, bruh. Hey, bruh. Hey, bruh, let me know in the chat, bruh. Hey, bruhs, hey, bruhs, would you spend 400,000 bruhs to make 8 million bruhs? 
Hat bros? These niggas be thinking you could diss me. Nigga, what? Clout chasing. So let me explain something because a lot of you broke black niggas don't understand what clout chasing is, huh? Let's talk about it. Because when FTX goes and pays millions of dollars to celebrities to promote their products, are they are they clout chasing? When Balenciaga, when Nike, when Reebok, when Foot Locker all use athletes that have likeness, is that clout chasing? Let me see what, what you stupid motherfuckers don't know about business. I'm, I can tell what you don't know about business. Hmm? When you see all these brands that use celebrity likeness, when you see brands that use celebrity likeness, are they clout chasing? I spent 400,000, nigga, and now I got a household name. Where do we go that a nigga don't approach me, cuz? Where the fuck do we go that a nigga that be fanned out? Airports, gas station, fucking Walmart, anywhere, nigga. I spent 400,000 and now I'm a household name. And I got a built, I got a fucking a multi-million dollar business that now has made millionaires. Can none of these niggas fuck with me? I can call all these bitch ass niggas out. I can talk shit to every rapper because ain't none of these rappers did nothing for nobody. I can talk shit to all these DJs because all these DJs ain't did shit for nobody. Who they uplifted? What they give back? What they do for the community? Other than pour bullshit ass music to these niggas that's trash, mid ass music. These niggas be saying they DJs and don't even fucking bump no goddamn music. This nigga drink fucking Hennessy and fucking and, and eat McDonald's on stream. Niggas is not even on, on my level. Niggas ain't even on my level. Livingston, Livingston, you niggas ain't gave back to the community. You ain't helped nobody make no motherfucking money. You ain't got no success outside of you. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. You niggas ain't on my level, bitch ass niggas. Niggas don't deserve platforms. Livingston, all oh, what niggas got more, more money than Tony. You talking about all more niggas got more money than Tony, but you got no money. Do you got more money than me? Hmm? You broke ass niggas being here talking about some somebody's money. What your money look like? Put your money next to mine. Bro, I make your life uncomfortable, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> this nigga academic's gonna come out, say all real estate niggas are scams. That nigga said, I don't own, own real he, he goes, I don't own any real estate, but all real estate. He don't even own real estate. This nigga can't sit down and even get his shit out without breathing out. This nigga breathe out of shape. Bro, you sitting down talking on the mic, nigga. You sitting down talking on the mic, nigga, and you can't even get your words out. This nigga sitting on live talking about all this money he got, and nigga, you don't own nothing? How? <sighs> The nigga was trying to slow pace Charleston White. You remember that shit? Nigga, Charleston White won the 2500 for an interview. This nigga was acting all weird and shit. Yeah. Come on, man. Nigga get to talking this money shit and all this shit, man. I'm just like, bro, come on. <clears throat> this, hey, and this broke ass nigga said, I rent my rent. Between my LA and my Miami spot, my rent costs more than what you make in a year, nigga. Don't even, like, my monthly rent costs more than what you make in a year. Like, Chill out, bro. <laughs> Nigga, spend twelve thousand a month in Miami, ten thousand a month in fucking L. No, eleven five in L. A. Fuck out of here, bro. Like you niggas ain't even like, on, and that's just on rent. I got properties that I ain't even touching. And fucking man, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. I got million dollar properties I ain't even touching, nigga. Like you niggas better go in. Like you too broke and you talking to the wrong nigga. You just want attention at this point. I rent and own. Um, I've been owning since two thousand and nine, my nigga. Yeah. I I like to, I like to rent because I like the the high ass views and the motherfucking water and shit like that in the condos. Yeah, shit that you niggas wish you could have. Yeah, that type shit. <laughs> <clears throat> they don't know they don't know who my pop is or nothing. That's why I be like my family. I where we we too rich, nigga. So like, that's what I be saying. Like, like you broke ass niggas, you don't even know who your daddy is, nigga. My dad worked for hundred M's. Like you niggas is like, I I get nigga, and I'm not even that type of nigga. I can ride my dad wave off this shit if you like nigga. You niggas is not even close to being remotely closer than this conversation, nigga. You niggas have no wealth, nigga. My kids got more wealth than you, nigga. My kids got, got more. My kids got millions in real estate. Like that's why I'm saying like I can't argue with you broke ass niggas, bro. My kids are richer than you. I got a 16 year old and 11 year old. Them niggas own more shit than you got. I mean it's like. I all right, nah, I can't do it. I'm, I'm, 
what's up everybody it's your boy nasho and welcome to coolin tv all right y'all so if y'all don't know the whole story and everything so you know academics last night went off on tony the closer this is why all right tony the closer he's big into digging into this whole dj mv you know scam with caesar pena and all that he was one of the first ones to crack the story all right so guess he hit up academics he want his credit he wanted to go on academics show and you know bottom line is academics not with none of that all right academics ain't with none of these real estate people none of these crypto people you know none of these investors going on his show you know and i'm the same way i'm i'm a, I'm a uh you know i agree to academics i wouldn't want no real estate investor i don't care what side you gotta say but the whole point is y'all tony the closer he wants his credit all right, he wants his credit for the whole DJ Envy case. He's not even included in the case. No paperwork, nothing. He's not a victim. He didn't get no money stolen. Tony the Closure just feels some type of way because academics say, like, bro, no. Like, you're not coming on my show pretty much to promote your damn real estate thing. You do the same thing that Envy and them do. But since Envy and them got caught, you know, academics pretty much just saying, Tony the Closers just want to take their shine. He want to get get the audience. He want to look for fans or, you know, so, some new some new clients or maybe. Who knows? But, you know, academics just want going for it, y'all. And I 100% agree with them. You know, million dollars worth the game. You know, they was doing it for a long time. You know, they still have some of those people come on the show. Hey, put your money here, put your money here. Hey, I got these stock investments. It's just, nah, I agree with Act. They might not all be scams, but they all scams. Like if you making that much money, come on, man. Why not just go make your money? Don't tell other people what to put their money when there's a big chance that they can lose it. It's like, man, if you a investor or real estate guru, just be a real estate agent or Come on, you ain't got to tell other people where to put their money. But, you know, can't knock nobody hustle. But, you know, going to audiences, that's where, you know, things cross the line. That's where things cross the line. It's when you go to all these different audiences and, you know, you're trying to get them to, you know, invest their money in certain places or give them game on how to invest their money. I agree with Act. You know, keep your money in your pocket because I wouldn't tell you how to, uh, you know, I ain't going to go to motherfucking... I ain't going to BET to look for no damn investment, you know, opportunities. Come on, man. like, just think about it. So that's why the whole thing going on, man, they going back and forth. Who knows if Act might hop on stream, you know, and give his little, you know, response to it. You know, I wouldn't doubt it. Big Act be on his shit. He don't play. Hey, man, y'all see me. I'm just dropping these videos. We reporting on everything, but I'm going to keep y'all updated. Y'all remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Follow your boy on Instagram at official Nasho and make sure y'all got them notifications turned on and I'm going to catch y'all in that next video. Peace out.